Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the conversion of CSV file to Parkey in Azure Data Factory using Copy Data Activity. Okay, so for this purpose, we will have the source file as CSV comma separated file. So let's go to the container where I've placed my CSV file. So it's inside the test input folder as employeeinfo.csv. So let's preview the file to see how the data looks. So the data is of employees where four columns are present. Okay. And this data, the CSV data, we need to change to Parky. Okay. So how we'll do it in ADF. So let's go to the ADF. And in the ADF, we'll create a new pipeline first. Let's name it as convert CSV to R key. Okay. And from the move and transform, we'll take the copy activity. So copy activity will help in the conversion. So here in the copy activity, the first tab is general. We'll leave it as is. We'll go to the next, that is the source tab. And here we'll try to connect to the data set, the source data set. So the data lies inside my storage gen2 account, cloud knowledge gen2 inside the test input folder. So let's connect to the source data set. So here we search for gen2, continue. And since it's a CSV, we'll select the delimited CSV here, continue. Let's name it as source CSV link service already there for the Gen2 storage account. So we'll select the link service next to the file. Next is the file path. So we'll browse to the file location. It's inside the test input folder. So select the folder and the file name is employeesinfo.csv. Select the file. Click OK. First row is having header as we could see here. So we'll select that import schema none and click OK. So the settings for the source data set is done. Next comes the sync tab. Let's go to the sync. In the sync, we want the data to be of Parky so that we get the result at the output location as Parky file. So let's connect to the sync location. Let's make it Again, the same storage account. And this time, we want the data to be into the test output folder. If we go to the containers, we have test input and the test output folder. We want to land the Parky file inside the test output folder. So we'll go here. And here, among the options available, we have to select the target file as Parky. So we have to select the format type of the data as Parky here. Click Parky and continue. Here we can write Parky as sync. Then link service already there, the same storage account and the file path will select as test output. OK, click OK. And here itself we can give the file name. Let's say we want the file name to be as employee in info dot bar key. OK, so the Name of the file we have given, import schema none, click OK. So you could see here the Parky symbol and the data set selected. Okay, next is the mappings tab. Let's import the schemas. So the schema is imported. We have the four columns from the source and the destination here. Okay, now we'll validate the activity here. Copy activity is validated and will perform a debug run. So the copy activity is queued. Let's refresh. It's in progress now. And it shows succeeded. Let's go to the 
test output folder and here we could see employee info.parky file is generated. Okay. Let's open the file and go to the edit section. Here parky format we could not read directly. We need to download it. Let's download this file and since in my system I have Parky Viewer, Apache Parky Viewer installed. I can view this file. Let's try to open it. And here in the Apache Parky Viewer, I could see the contents of the file. Okay, we were having four columns and we could see the data here ID, name, org, and skill. If you do not, you can install Apache Parky Viewer like this. The very first link is here. Install it in your system and then you can view the file. If you're not able to view the file, then the viewer online option also available. Let's open one of the links. So here the option is to select the file. Let's select employeeinfo.parky and we could see online the data inside the parky file. So this is how we could convert a normal CSV to parky using copy data activity of a Java data factory. So what we did is at the source level we connected to the CSV data set okay and then at the sync level we have the parky file okay and when we have the parky data set we have the compression type also so here the default compression type selected was snappy okay i hope you have understood how we can easily convert the csvs to parky in data factory thank you for watching the video happy learning bye